Why does it feel like when progress is made, Nintendo does something to take us back three steps? The Nintendo Switch is now region free, enabling you to play games from all over the world. Great. But in order to use voice chat, you have to implement peripherals or use a fucking smartphone externally to do so. In less than one year, the Nintendo Switch is looking to outsell the Wii U, which had been up for four to five years. That's pretty impressive. Yet they promised they knew that the SNES Classic stock would be a problem with scalpers and we still have the same issue now, if not worse. Nintendo was embracing both esports and content creators with the inclusion of a share button on the Switch which has snapshot functionality and video recording as well in the future. And they even have a Nintendo Versus program running on Twitter. On top of that, a creator program which enables people to earn revenue off of sharing and playing Nintendo games on the YouTube or live stream. Except that live streaming has apparently been banned for anybody who's inside of the Nintendo Creators program, but it has a share button. Nintendo just doesn't seem to realize the benefits of having other people share their first party content. And the Creators program is a whole nother Pandora's box because it's bad enough that people who are in the program are one, giving a huge part of their revenue to Nintendo, and two, not getting paid jack squat. Check this out right now. We what? just got an email from Nintendo. We got paid an entire penny. Oh my god. An entire one set. Did, you're reading this, right? I am. Nintendo of America Incorporated has sent you, us, us, one cent. We did it. We did it. Oh my god. All right. Yes. Now granted, this live stream ban doesn't count for every single Nintendo game, only first party titles, but there's kind of a big one that's on the horizon coming out this month. So you're probably better off leaving the program or never signing up in the first place. Does this affect me at all? Hell no. Thank God it doesn't. Broadband, by the way, shout outs to them. They got my back. I don't have to worry about any problems with Nintendo revenue or anything, thanks to them. But um, if the day ever does come that they decide to drop me or um, something just goes south, I'll be fucked in exactly the same way. We presented the content creators generate sales argument so many times over, so I would like to present a new one. Think of live streaming Nintendo, similar to inviting friends over to play a video game with you. Except when your friends are physically there, they can play the game at your house and not have to worry about buying a copy for their own. But when you're watching somebody live stream it, you don't have that opportunity. So wouldn't that influence you more to buy the game in choice? Every time someone streams, just look at it as them having 10,000 people over, but the only thing that they can do is just watch. The fact that some branches of Nintendo have not understood up till now how much this promotes sales is mind-boggling to me especially in a time where i feel like they would want more sales and want people who are maybe not so much on nintendo gaming to be influenced enough to actually go out there and purchase themselves a switch sharing through live stream is one of the easiest ways to do that in terms of reasoning for banning first party games being streamed by their own content creators in their program the only one that I can honestly think of is them just not being able to take advantage of all the revenue that it generates. Do you guys really want to keep track of the donations that people receive during streams as well too? You want to cut of that as well, Nintendo? That is a big leap to make, but it makes you wonder where the future of this thing is going to go. What will happen in a year or two from now? Is there going to be a straight up outright ban of any kind of content from Nintendo's first party games on YouTube or Twitch? It's ridiculous to think this. But wait, there's more. More L's for Nintendo to catch. FIFA and NBA 2K, my boys. This is going to infuriate you if you're new to this information. You cannot play online modes with friends in the Switch versions of these games. But on other consoles like the Xbox and PS4, that's not even a question. What in God's name was the decision making behind this? A fucking fundamental feature that everyone's been using for years in online gaming to simply play with people on their friends list. The fact that the feature is not included on the Switch version is insulting. I would demand a full refund by calling up Nintendo or emailing EA or fucking calling up 2k or whatever and getting my fucking money back how dare you i don't mean to sound so entitled and self-righteous but this is a this is something that hurts me not even as a sports fan but just as a switch console owner and shame on nintendo for not actually keeping these guys in check over there either when they presented a game that doesn't have a fundamental feature like that which is on every single other console with no logical reason to be omitted from the switch version they should have stopped them cold in their tracks and said you're not putting a popular sports Sports game on our brand without having the ability to play, play online with friends. One of the companies responded to the whole thing and said, well, you can still play locally when you're right next to each other. That's a good alternative. I swear.
So if you're going to treat it as such a nonchalant thing, then why don't you put out an update on the PS4 and Xbox One versions of the game that remove the ability to play online with your friends list? Then let's see how those communities react to it. Not to mention the games were already buggy as fuck when they came out as is. We're on a constant teeter-totter with Nintendo on terms of the L's and the W's. Some of these some of these dumb moves that they've made have just knocked them down in so many ways. And I hope to God that 2018 is just a more cleaned up year. They need to have this stuff addressed. They need people to rise up, to speak their discomfort with these decisions, and to let them know their grievances. Because otherwise, they'll think that this shit is okay. I mean, with all this back and forth news of the Nintendo Switch, man, the best thing to come out of it was the fact that we have a porn now, which is done from the ARMS character Twintel, even though... I don't really like her too much, but I mean, that's just because I'm, I was devoted to Mimi until I dropped the game in two days after it came out. Chintel. <laughs> hey man, I ain't gonna lie. That shit is hot. <laughs> that shit was a hot scene. <laughs> I ain't linking to it though. You ain't gonna link no porn to my channel, man, but I'm just saying, man. I don't, I don't even know if this counts as Nintendo's win. This might be thanks to Bang Bros. get you an oculus man you're gonna be seeing twin tell from all angles baby my nigga she'll put them arms to work if you know what i mean <laughs> oh god ah. even myself as a dedicated nintendo fanboy needs to point out that they caught a l within this week 100 percent thank god they're at least doing a couple of things right so it doesn't completely put them in the fucking x zone i'm still a little shocked at the stuff that they managed to fuck up Hopefully that doesn't happen again. God damn, bro. I know they say you win some and you lose some. But those are some big ones. Oh, you're still here?